Hey guys, here we are. We got another unit. Let's take a look and I'll tell you why I bought this unit. All right, what do we have? Okay, so basically we have a tiny little unit <laughs> and this screen is why I bought it. But actually, if you want to hear the whole story, I didn't know I was going to win it I bid $10 two weeks ago and totally forgot about it. And then the other day, I get an email saying I want a unit. I'm like, what unit is this? This is the unit. So. All right. What do we have? What do we have? What did you see in the pictures besides? Uh... Well, the screen is going to make us our money. Um, I can probably sell that. We paid $10 for the unit. I can probably sell it for $40 or more depending on condition and then there's a bucket of tools there's a shelf and right here I thought I saw games so I mean it's obviously not very many but but it does say PlayStation Roy always loves any sign of video games so let's get into everything that's in this unit you know what's funny there's a few things in this unit and we'll check each one out and let's get into it this shelf here is made from an old speaker box cool but okay well <laughs> i need gloves so we're gonna break for gloves okay break. we're gonna pull this screen out first but in front of the screen is this briefcase so let's see what we got in this briefcase Ooh, what's in there Floppy disk, the combination to the briefcase. <laughs> so maybe there was something in there that they broke into, but I don't see much else in there. Here's our money. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's looking good. As Lisa told it's me, looking good. That will quadruple our money. So wicker and rattan, depending on what it is, but like screens. And those curved, um, arched bookshelves are really popular right now. This is like that boho style that people are going for. This is in great shape. And this is actually the back of it. So I'm going to turn it around. Oh, <laughs> there's a price tag on it. They got it. Is that from Ollie's? From Ollie's. <laughs> so it's brand new. They paid $30 for it. But look, it can retail for $60. Um, so there you go. I'll probably list this maybe even for 50. I don't know if I want to move it. I'll list it for 40, but that's why I bought the unit. Everything else is bonus. So what do we got here? Hey, speak it and you get it. Speak it out into the universe. That is, we were just wow. talking about a shelf to hold DVDs or no games yep. as we reorganize Roy's gaming um, electronics area. So this is all these shelves full down and we might be able to use this. Yeah. It's a little rickety, but yeah, but it, it, it actually it, comes together because we just, we just got something very similar and these actually lock into yeah. those hooks and make yeah. it more sturdy. Yeah. So, okay. That's nice. nice. Speak it into existence. Yes. Bag of money. Bag of money. Bag, Bag of money. money. <laughs> I always say a bushel barrel. What about a backpack full of money? Whoa. Wait a, a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a bag and of money? And it says what? Lego on it. I think this could be some money right here. So I didn't see the front. So. Does it feel oh. Does it feel like anything's... It oh. feels like a bag of money. It feels like... So I hear something that... It's going cha ching or is it just ching no oh oh wow didn't so we just find one of those bags. recently yes we did so that's what looks like is in here but there's also oh look oh. at that that is a cleveland indians chief wahoo hat a little sparkly yep we will. looks in good shape too and I think there's some drawers in here. Oh no, those are baby clothes. Okay. That's the onesie. Clothes. 
the little Legos kit or whatever that is. Ooh, okay. I think that is it. All right. Well, not a bad bag. It's not bad. That hat's worth a few dollars. Yep. All right. And then, of course, we have this bucket of tools. This is probably a, what? That's probably a $30 bucket right there. It depends on what's in it and how we part it out. But, yeah, yeah. I mean. Well, look at this axe. I mean, oh, no, that's a hatchet. Or an axe. It's a hatchet, please. <laughs> or a hatchet. <laughs> what is it? Oh, that's just a cord. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, we probably could get $20, $30 for these tools, definitely. Alright, this is what I would call garbage. I don't know what Well, that it's is. a can opener. Is that what that is? It's, well, you can see right here up front, can opener. Man. But that's Lids rough. off. Automatic jar opener. Oh, there you go. It's a I'm jar opener and a can opener. Wow. I've never even seen one that big before. I don't know. We might have to just plug that in and play with it. because That's a little rough. Yeah, it is rough. All right. Then we have Ooh, a new in the box rack. garment rack. That's $10. Okay. Yeah. And then we have some. Looks like some artwork here. This is definitely an oil painting, and it's signed. It's signed Sebastian. So we don't know if. Yeah. But wow. The frame is frame is cool. Um, canvas. It's got a date of 1957 on it. Okay. Not a bad little piece. And then we have this one, which looks more mass produced. Still has a signature on it. It is, what is that? Robert? Wood. Woodward, Woodard, Woodson, but okay. That one looks like it's just like on a yeah. hard. It was dark in there and there was no place to set things, so we were working out here. So let's see what we have. This one. That looks like wood beads, pencils, an ear thermometer, ink maybe? I don't know. And we have here macrame made easy. This looks like it's from the 70s and that is an awesome book. So we have a box of books. These look to be a bit vintage, but it looks like, you know, there's like this old paintbrush. Not, not a game. Oh, wait. Are these games? Okay. PlayStation. Oh, not in there. Crash Bandicoot. Not in there. Wah, wah. All right, well, this is not the gaming unit Roy hoped it would be. Headlamp, we love headlamps. Creepy doll to add to our creepy Halloween doll display. And just more books. Okay, let me grab another box. We all recognize this shoe shine kit. Let's see if there's anything in it. Wait. There's something in it. What's in it? Is that books? No. Whoa. Is Second there anything Genesis. in there? All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. This it is. It feels like it. <gasps> oh, there's nice. one. Nice. All right. What else? What else? Is there another one? There's two. All right. Now I'm happy. Yeah. I'm very oh, happy. Oh, good golly. Barney. There's three. There <laughs> There's the Constitution. And mm, what's this one? It's a mystery game. What no, game? It's Joe. Uh, Joe and Mac. Okay. Okay. Them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And. NBA Jam. It's in there. It's, oh my gosh. Wow. So that was a, such a bonus find. That. One, two, three, four, five Sega games. Wow. 
Okay. In the old vintage <laughs> shoe shine kit. Next we have this radio. This looks like a CD player maybe. Compact disc. Yeah, you could put your iPhone. iPod in there. Yeah. iPhone, iPod. Okay. It's not opening. I don't know how it opens, but maybe it needs power to open. I press that. <laughs> yeah, probably needs power. As a matter of fact, I wonder. If we have power. Yep. Here's a monitor. Nothing too exciting. Broke Sonic. <laughs> Here are the other PlayStation cases more playstation cases well let's see is yeah those there... were empty these are mm. probably going to be empty also yeah and those are cds and a mirror yeah but i mean those sega games could be worth ten dollars a piece or even more okay i think that's it this was uh, this is on wheels uh oh oh my gosh you guys you know i love things on wheels look at this so at some point this was, was a giant yep. thunder speaker and now they repurposed rolling, it into a shelf a rolling, rolling shelf, shelf. Nice. Might keep? i don't know we'll see all right all right 